Hello, hello, hello to all of my Pisces. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. This reading is for Sunday, July 24th, even though it may be Saturday, July 23rd in some places. If that's the case, you're getting the reading early. But whenever you see the reading, it is a timeless reading. So you're, you're see it whenever you're supposed to see it. So it will apply to, you just take what resonates with you. Okay, Pisces, let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. I know a lot of you all have fallen on the bright side of the Aries moon. Reason why I know that. Because a lot of you all are feeling more energetic, more enterprising, more optimistic, open to change, idealistic, right? But for those of you who feel like you fell on the dark side of the moon, making it all about you, feeling more impulsive, opinionated about things, domineering, you know what you got to do. You still got a couple of more days, okay? You still have a couple of more days, Pisces, to make some decisions, to sever some ties with some emotions. We have the star card, the moon card, the fool card, all right? Is somebody trying to make a decision about an Aquarius? Because we have Aquarius and then the fool card is attached to one of Aquarius's ruling planet, which is Uranus, right? So it's, a, it's like all of a sudden something is going to hit you like lightning. You know what? I may have felt foolish in the past, but I need to release this. I, I really need to emotionally release this and let this thing fall by the wayside for me. Like this is a tricky situation. When I weigh the pros and cons, it's not even worth my time anymore. I'm just going to release it into the universe. I'm just going to release it into the universe. So what I'm seeing, which, which it's, being, it's being replaced with, is new opportunities to meet new people coming across your path. New opportunities for job opportunities, all of that. Source is trying to send more money coming across your path to keep you busy so that you don't go into escapism. We have the Two of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. So that money can come in any form. You could be a house could be willed to you or given to you, you know, um, or property can come out, come to you. Um, you can get a raise at work. I see somebody applying for somebody's been waiting on hearing back from a promotion or something at work. I see that coming through for somebody or applying for a new job outside of a company, something coming through for you. You're doing what you love to do. This is something that you love to do, something that you are very passionate about, because again, the situation was tricky. For somebody, you may have felt like you were in a relationship with your soulmate. Just so we're clear, Pisces, soulmate is not always love interest. Sometimes it's a best friend. Sometimes it's a sibling. Sometimes it is, you know, it can a soulmate can be anybody, actually. It doesn't always involve sex involved, right? Sometimes it is, sometimes it is, um, like I said before, it could be a best friend. It could be a, a sibling that you feel like, okay, this is my soulmate. They just get me. I just feel like we're, our souls are connected. They just, they understand me. They understand me. But again, somebody had to weigh the pros and cons emotionally of something and decided I need to move on from it. I need to move on. So the intense emotions that you may have felt about something, you're healing those dark spaces within yourself. And it's not even for you at this point in your life. You're like, it's not even that deep for me anymore. If that person is out of my life, because this energy is sword energy, if that person is out of my life, whether I cut them out of my life or they cut me out of their lives, whatever it is, I'm, I'm ready for the next energy to come across my path, right? Remember as a water sign, as a water sign, um, you want to make sure, you want to make sure, um, you understand that the Aries moon actually emphasizes imagination and intensity. It means that you have increased ability to create striking original work, right? The moon for any water sign is increasing your creativity, right? But now it's kind of putting a fire up under you. That's why somebody is going to be real creative about looking for a new position or you know, reaching back out. Maybe you felt like you wanted to emotionally escape, but somebody said, no, 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 I need to finish strong. I need to go ahead and close out this cycle. You know, I know I'm not imagining things as far as this thing is concerned. I'm going to sit down and take some action. I'm going to put together a list. I'm going to weigh the pros and cons of all the relationships in my life. And I'm deciding to move on from some, something is not even, it's not even that deep. Something is not even that deep. See somebody Remember, you're a water sign, and water signs take the form of whatever, you know, like water. It takes the form of whatever it's in, right? So if you stay in a really negative, it, it, let's say, for instance, okay, 
somebody was exposed or several people were exposed as being manipulative, low vibrating, liars, cheaters, whatever, narcissists, and you stay down at that energy too long, it's actually going to rub off on you. It's actually contaminating you. And now this is where people know you to be. So it's real easy for somebody to say, oh, you're negative and you're not smart and you're this and that and so on and so forth. As a water sign, you're taking on those toxins. And for some of you all, you have believed it, right? But your ancestor says, uh-uh, nope. This time I'm going to show it to you and you're going to get the heck out of Dodge. Get as far away from that as possible. But somebody has really been thinking about you. You know you don't want them back. There was once some deep feelings there. Deep emotions. Like I said, it could have been a friend. It could have been romantically. It could have been... But again, for you, you're like, mm -mm, I'm not going back to that. This is the Page of Cups, right? So every time these new idea, every time these new feelings arise in your spirit about it, just remember that devil energy from this last full moon is trying to pull you back, drag you down underwater, and make you go real dark with some energy. And you're like, mm-mm. Out of sight, out of mind. I'm moving on. That thing broke my heart when I was I was Somebody's heart was broken when they were younger. Deeply disappointed. A heart cracked in half or cracked in threes. This is the three of swords. But your ancestors have been around you the entire time. They've been around you the entire time trying to help you with some things. Here we have the knight of swords. So I do see somebody getting as far away from any low vibrating energy as humanly possible. Like I said, either the person may have left you or you left them. But again, source is trying to replace that with more money coming across your path. The opportunity to meet new people. Opportunities for advancement in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So this nine of wands right here is letting me know that somebody has learned some lessons. You came to the end of a long and arduous journey and you could be very upset, vibrate very, very low, but then you, you got to this journey and you said, you know what? I was imprisoning myself in my mind for that long thinking about this thing. That what I learned about myself is that I become enlightened. I have become enlightened. I'm not mad at them. As a matter of fact, I forgive them, but I'm moving on. They have no place in my life. Let me get back to work. Let me get back to work. I'm a very hardworking person, and the energy of money follows me. So, yeah, let me take my power back. When you look at this spread of cards right here, you see the majority right here in this sword energy, right? The majority of cards in this sword energy. This right here lets me know that somebody's heart chakra was out of alignment. You gave so much of your heart to something. You nurtured that thing for, I mean, nurtured whomever forever. You just kept putting your heart and your soul into this, but not anymore. Somebody did this. You got as far away from those emotions as possible. You said, let me, get, let me get back to work. Let me just get back to work, right? So, again, when, I, when we look at your, um, your solar plexus chakras, right? Your solar plexus chakra is all about standing in your power, getting in touch with your inner warrior fire and your self-esteem, Pisces. Your self-esteem, right? So, somebody needs to... Grab some essential oils like lemon essential oil, lavender essential oil, Roman chamomile, rosewood, rosemary essential oil. Some of the gemstones that you can use is yellow citrine, amber, yellow topaz, yellow tiger's eye, um, rutilated quartz is another one. But let me also ask you some questions while I'm pulling out some more cards here. I want you all to write these down, Pisces, because if you're really, really interested in changing and getting to this next phase and this next cycle... By now, you all know I give a lot of information to try to help you on this journey, right? First question you want to ask yourself is what you want to explore, right? Is are you struggling with low self-worth? Are you, I mean, be honest with yourself. Are you struggling with low self-worth? Because somebody puts so much emotion into something that now is starting to fall by the wayside. Like somebody really weighed the pros and cons for something for really just too long. The second question is, are you procrastinating, perhaps stuck in a relationship or situation at home or at work that you're not happy with? Are you, right? Third question is, are you repressing your emotions and feelings and consequently feeling resentful? Are you? See, this is what's trying to, to chain you to your past, the devil energy. Like I said, the devil card is attached to Capricorn, right? Not the, not, we're not talking about any Capricorns that you know. We're talking about the Cap this devil card or Capricorn being ruled by Saturn. And 
Saturn is the um, Saturn uh, is the planet of hard work, duty, responsibility. So check your birth chart and see if you have Capricorn in your chart because this is about getting to the finish line. Also, uh, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn's card is the world card, right? And so it represents completing a cycle. And so you're going to be working hard to unchain yourself, to liberate yourself from these deep emotions that you had about something that was very disappointing and very heartbreaking for somebody. Very, very heartbreaking and disappointing from somebody. Like I said, resist the urge to vibrate low. Because again, nobody will really know who the narcissist is. Who will, people won't know who the narcissist is, who's the gaslighter, who's the who's the psychopath or sociopath. So keep your vibrations very, very high, Pisces. Keep them very high. Very, very high. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have in your cards, Pisces. Let's see what else we have in your cards. Again, this is your Sunday reading, but it's a timeless reading. So whenever you see the reading, um, it's when you're supposed to see the reading. But don't forget to set your notifications to all. The death card. This has been real intense for somebody. Like I said, the death card is attached to Scorpio. This is attached to your sign, Pisces. And so it's not like you're escaping reality, but your thoughts were going so low. You felt like you wanted, if somebody felt like they wanted to kill somebody, like somebody was just that, like they were overtaken by the devil. You ever heard somebody say they were like, this person act like they were possessed. That's what this is. And the enemy would love to take possession of your mind, would love to take possession of your body, your actions, and all of that. So the enemy can just sit there and like, ooh, we got another one for the team. We got another one for the team, right? So you don't need to do that because the devil represents our carnal mind. It represents our flesh. It represents our lower selves, our lowest, actually, our lowest selves. So in the enemy trying to recruit everybody for its team, so that you can bow down to the devil. I see a lot of you all saying, nope, mm -mm, I'm just going to sever ties with it. Because I may have had some real wicked and evil thoughts about some things. And it, it just, it made me want to just check out. I didn't even recognize myself. Right? Expect powerful change. Why? Because you said, I'm letting this thing fall by the wayside. I'm just releasing it. I'm releasing it into the universe. I'm just releasing something into the universe. So kudos to you, Pisces. Like something was real intense for somebody. Like really, really. What, what, loves, com what loves company that bad? Misery loves company, right? So misery loving company. Like I said, um... The third question I want you all to write down is, are you repressing your emotions and feeling consequently feeling resentful? That's why, like I said, you, if you're feeling that, that's an energy leak and you want to you wanna come up out of that space. Fourth question is, are you holding yourself back, paralyzed in an unconscious fear that stops you from taking a leap into the unknown? Are you? Mm -hmm. Here we have aromatherapy. There are some certain scents. That's why I wanted to give you the gemstones and crystals as well as the um, essential oils. That's going to really, really help you with this to kind of sort of take you back to a time. We're talking about the number three here. Take you back to a time where you just remember things that smell good to you. Things that put you in this space where you just feel like, mm, it woke up certain emotions like reminding you of just how powerful you really are to operate in love and just know you're just stand firm in your power right yeah let's see what else we have here pisces let's see what else we have here yes as, as long as like i said as long as you get away from that low vibrating energy of just wanting to seriously like your thoughts get real demonic and evil you've completed that cycle Let's see what we have here. Five, I am adaptable. I am adaptable. Yes, you are. Flexibility is your forte. Not just because you're a mutable sign either, Pisces. But yeah, I'm adaptable, which are highly adaptable signs. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. That's right, number five. Number five. That is your number, Pisces. Like I said, you all have learned a lot of lessons. One of the lessons that you all have learned, it just doesn't pay to vibrate low. 
you all, I don't know if you all remember the movie Fallen. It's kind of an older movie with Denzel Washington where that demonic spirit was jumping from body to body. It, the movie actually opens up. This guy was on death row. And he was saying that he was possessed. He was actually showing, telling he was possessed by a demon. And so remember that spirit. Even when he was executed, that spirit kept jumping from body to body to body to body. And so that's what the enemy was trying to get you to do is vibrate at your lowest frequency and really do something you would regret forever and have you in chains, have you locked up somewhere because you couldn't control your emotions while the enemy just moved on to the next person. That's what I have for you, Pisces. So kudos to you. Kudos to you for saying, I'm, I mean, I need to heal myself because I cannot possibly be this obsessed with this situation. That situation will take care of itself. But again, there's so many moving parts to all of this is what I'm picking up on your cards. A lot of times we don't know why people do the things that they do. Like I said, something hurt somebody when in their youth, right? Something may have really broken your heart and deeply disappointed you in your youth. And so um, in your healing process, you will find out why certain things happen to you and kind of put you on this path of like emotionally checking out, okay? That is what I have for you, Pisces. Well, kudos to you all for a fresh new start, a new beginning at a high frequency, focusing on your healing, focusing on allowing those real dark thoughts to fall by the wayside and saying, I'm moving on from this. That's what I have for you. And I will see you on Monday for motivation on monday but again thank you for joining me pisces please don't forget to add comments like share subscribe um and i will see you on motivational monday bye